Dawn of the Dead has a relationship contained in its plot, where dynamics of it were only given half-baked attention at best by me for probably at least the first 20 times I watched it. Exploding heads and zombie hair Krishnas have a way of stealing my attention. But now, our attention is on Fran and Flyboy, and how much they probably hated each other. At the start of the film, Fran and Flyboy's relationship is portrayed as relatively stable. We catch up with them sometime after the onset of a zombie apocalypse at a TV station where chaos is erupting, so some outlying tension had to be expected. After some hiccups at an abandoned airstrip, Fran and Flyboy, along with Roger and Peter, land on and break into a deserted mall, which has been overrun by zombies. If you've never seen this movie, pause now and go watch it, as I'm not really covering it from a plot perspective in this video. We soon discover that Fran is pregnant, which I assume contributes to at least a portion of her nauseous attitude. But early on in the film, I was wondering if she even liked this guy anyways. When he's being attacked by a zombie, she just stands there like, eh, nothing, nothing. He goes out on a limb to get them to safety. And there are worse places to be stuck than inside a giant mall with free food and warm beds to sleep in. And all she can do is bitch and moan. Nobody cares about my vote. Well, you know what? When 10,000 zombies are lining up to take a big wet bite out of your ass, the dudes with the automatic rifles protecting you will decide when you get a vote. But at the mall, once they settle in, clear out the zombies and start enjoying the free clothes, food, video games, and skating rinks, she didn't seem to complain too much about it. I thought that dinner scene was really nice and an opportunity for them to just pretend for at least one night that they weren't surrounded by thousands of zombies. Could have led to some filthy ass play later on. But then Flyboy had to go and propose marriage, which Fran duly turns down, and that acts as a killjoy for the rest of their time together. The hate was on. Some may believe that through Fran and Flyboy's relationship, the film explores broader themes of how extreme trauma and loss constrain even the most intimate of human connections and that their journey represents the fragility of our social ties when faced with the collapse of civilization. Oh, what horseshit. Look at how they glare at each other. The only theme being explored here is how much each of them wants to feed the others to those zombies out there. And at the end, when Flyboy turns into one and goes to where they were hiding out, he was going to chew her ring finger off so nobody could ever marry her. The movie never touches on their lives before the events of the zombie outbreak. Maybe it was normal, or maybe it was always fraught with tension from the start. All I know is that, after they arrived at that mall, all Flyboy wanted to do was be a part of the Roger Peter Wolf Pack. Still love how proud he was that he found that ventilation shaft above the elevator. Fran, for her part, fared a little better by learning how to pilot that chopper and managed to keep from being bitten. But Flyboy couldn't manage so well. He got greedy. He saw the mall as his home, his claim, and he wasn't going to let a gang of bikers take it from him. And he got fucked up real good. Overall, this relationship could have been seen as a powerful and poignant element of the movie, serving as a microcosm for the film's examination of human nature under duress. Yeah, right. They hated each other, and that was obvious. So just give me the exploding heads. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, send a bucket of chicken. I'll take anything. And I'll see you and you and you and you and you at the next slaughtering. Bye for now.